Today, we embark on an exciting journey as we unveil the early stages of the construction of the highly anticipated Omondi Stadium. Which team do you support in Uganda? If you are a fan of KCC, watch this video till the end because today I brought you to your home. This is the Philip Omondi Stadium, the home of KCC. Actually, they are constructing this stadium as you see in my background. Yes, they are trying to construct this stadium and it's going to be really nice. If you support Ugandan football, if you love Uganda, watch this video till the end the stadium is not so common in your eyes it is called m10 philip omondi stadium it's found in Lugogo, in kampala city in the center you're going to enjoy this video now you might be wondering why the name omondi well, it's a tribute to a figure who played a pivotal role in shaping the sporting legacy of this community. Stay tuned as we delve into the history and the significance of the name. Philip Omondi played for Lockside Kampala City Council FC from 1973 to 1979 when he moved to the United Arab Emirates to join Sharuja. Omondi played for the Uganda national football team at the 1974, 1976, and 1978 Africa Cup of Nations, where he was the leading top scorer in the tournament that Uganda finished the second. He also helped the team to the 1973 and 1977 Sekafa Cup titles. He later on coached some local football clubs. Philip Omondi had an illustrious career, so MTN and KCCAFC felt that his name should be kept alive in the home where he spent much of his career. Hence the name MTN Omondi Stadium, the home of KCCAFC. So I've been showing you Nachivo and Nambole. You know, Nambole Stadium is under renovation and Nachivo was also constructed. So I decided to bring you to Philip Omondi Stadium and we check out uh, what is taking place, what is going on here. As we stand here, you can see the foundations of what will soon become a state-of-the-art sports facility. The construction is in its fancy with just one building rising on the horizon. Are you seeing in my background? Yes, they are constructing this stadium. It is really nice. Uh, the, top, uh, the top is carpet. Yeah, they are using carpet, uh, the field, that's what I mean, the field there, uh -huh. the field is uh, a carpet, they are using a carpet. As you know, Uganda, we are going to host the Africa Cup of Nations 2027, I'm not sure whether they are going to use this stadium, but according to me, it is okay to, to host if they construct it very well, like they are planning to do, it will be very nice to use it for Africa Cup of Nations, because since it is in the Kampala city, it will be really nice uh, to use for Africa Cup of Nations. It's not very big, but if they construct it very well, it can take like uh, 20,000 people, yeah, 20 and more. If you're supporting Ugandan football, if you love Uganda, let me know which team are you supporting in the comment section below. Yeah, let me show you everything just right now. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. But what makes Empty Nomondi Stadium truly special? Well, the visionary design promises to revolutionize the sporting experience. With the cutting-edge architecture and top-notch facilities, it is set to become a landmark in the world of sports. We have two stadiums which are almost done. If they finish this one, uh, we shall have three stadiums. So, if you love Ugandan football, this is the right time to support your team. Let me know which team are you supporting in Uganda. Beyond its grandeur, M10 Omondi Stadium is more than just a sports arena. It's a beacon of community development. Now let's take a look at the construction updates.
MTN Omondi Stadium, the home of KCC. By the end of the coming year, I'm sure it will be really nice. It will be constructed to the fullest. As I've been showing you stadiums like Nambol and the Nachimbo Stadium, enjoy this one too. It is very really nice. I wish I knew. With the precision and dedication, the workers are laying the groundwork for structure that will host thrilling moments and create lasting memories for generations to come. Now let me show you the lights. This is the first one. The second one. Uh-huh. And this one. And the third one. Uh-huh. And this one. This one. Let me zoom out. Uh -huh. Yeah. What you have to do is subscribe and press the notification bell. Don't forget to comment and let me know which team are you supporting in Ugandan football. Yes. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess the ignorance is bliss. Take me back to this is KCC AFC. During a training, this is what happens. Look at the pressures. This happens after training. I feel so outdated. How can we look the other way? Sun is out, but the sky is gray. What would happen if I took a chance? It's always hard at first glance. I don't wanna, but I know I gotta do it. The truth is hard to swallow. I think I'll chew it. The whole stadium looks like a this. Look at this view. Now these are seats. There are still few of them. As I conclude this sneak peek into the construction of M10 Omondi Stadium, I will left with a sense of anticipation and excitement. Follow me on this journey as we witness the transformation of a mere blueprint into a sporting masterpiece. Don't forget to subscribe for future episodes where I will bring you exclusive behind the scenes looks, interviews, and updates on the progress of M10 Omondi Stadium. Until next time, stay tuned for more excitement in the world of sports, development, and construction.